James Kaufman, World News Report, today, October 26, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Ladies and gentlemen, I have been waiting around for over an hour with this event ongoing. It started out with an M9.44 solar flare. Then we had what looks like an X1.86, 1.87 solar flare depending on what source you go to here. I'll show you the M9.44. It says 42 here. This is our ghost X-ray flux, followed by actually a M1.8687, depending on if you go to GOES or NASA. This is a very strong solar flare. The explosion looks like one of the biggest explosions I remember seeing on our solar disk, directly Earth-facing out of a newer sunspot that's now a delta class sunspot ar 3872 i will show you that sunspot and show you how complex it really is so it's been about 50 hours since we had the x 3.3 solar flare that was partially eclipsed by the limb and we've had according to spaceweatherlive.com an x 1.86 1.87 according to NOAA. And ladies and gentlemen, this came out of sunspot AR3872, which is now a Delta class sunspot, the most complex sunspot that we know of. I will show you that sunspot. They've bumped up the chances of an X class solar flare to 15%, M class solar flare to 70%, and I believe the C class solar flare should be at 100% because we have not broken a C baseline in months again an m 9.44 followed by an x 1.86 1.87 again around 50 hours after we had our warning shot the x 3.33 solar flare that was partially eclipsed by the incoming limb so it was quite an explosion as i will show y'all on go solar ultraviolet imager now, just so everyone has it straight, the X3.33 was generated by AR3869 right here, and 3872 just generated the 1.86, 1.87 X flare. I believe it generated both the 9.44 M flare followed by the X flare. Some are going to say that there's been three flares. I did see a little hiccup in our GOES X-ray there. I'm going to take a look at 3872 or AR3872, very complex Delta class sunspot group, whereas 3869 is just a beta gamma class, I'd say just a beta gamma class sunspot group. So currently we have 12 Earth facing sunspot groups. It's according to NOAA, NASA, and spaceweatherlive.com and spaceweather.com. What we saw is activity out of 3872 here, the most complex sunspot uh, group with 10 sunspots total. Yesterday we had the, or day before yesterday, we had the X3.33 solar flare out of 3869, which is a beta gamma sunspot group, not as complex as this delta sunspot, 3872, which has gotten much more complex over the last few hours. Taking a good look at region AR3872 with 10 sunspots in the sunspot group, we can see the polarity here is very complex. We have ourselves a beta delta gamma sunspot on our hands. And ladies and gentlemen, this must have been a geoeffective solar flare, and this must have created a coronal mass ejection that is going to be inbound. When I'm able to get going tomorrow again, I will update that with NASA's Gooder is with Spiral and see if they've modeled it at that point. Obviously, they have not modeled it as of yet. Now, everyone's wondering why we have not had a proton storm. The little white things we see on Lasco C3, I checked. There's nothing there available yet. I believe that we'll be able to see a proton storm well, tomorrow morning or this morning, I guess. It is now right at 3 a.m. I've stayed up an hour and a half watching this event unfold. Please give us a super chat or buy us a cup of coffee, guys. We're exhausted here. 
Uh, but we do see those protons headed up towards that space weather threshold at 10 million volts. So I would not be surprised to see a polar cap absorption event. And I definitely would not be surprised to see a proton storm first thing in the morning. Now, over to Go Solar Ultraviolet Imager 195 Angstrom. So when I say this was a big event, much larger than a 1.87 X flare. It's one of the biggest explosions I've seen on the Earth side facing part of our sun or solar disk of our sun ever, ever. I would say that that's a much larger flare. That's the readings we're getting on our goes. And we can see there's a lot of plasma being ejected by this explosion. It's ongoing. It's about 3 a.m. currently. And hey, this might step up a bit more and might continue to increase. I don't see anything that says it's not going to. Again, first the M9.44 followed by the X1.86, 1.87, depending on your source. And I also see a filament eruption coming out of that same sunspot group, AR3872, right over to AR3869, that produced the X3.33 flare just over 48 hours ago. This is unbelievable action here on our star. And that's going to be directly Earth-facing very soon. You can see the filament eruption at the end there. Uh, this is a catastrophe. Over to our X-ray flux or D-region absorption prediction center. I just don't feel like this looks like the X-flare that we just saw come from our solar disk. The radio alternation is, well, looks like a small M-flare to me, period. And this is the peak that I pulled out right here. And let me say, the time is completely off. Uh, this is running about two hours behind, and I've never, ever seen that, but they're showing the flare. So, 7.13 UTC time should be around 2.13 Central Time, and it's now almost 3 a.m. Never seen this run, well, so slow here, or so behind if you will, and this does not look like the flare that we saw come off our star, period. I think all of y'all will agree. You can just, well, there's just not enough x-rays here, especially for something that's that much earth-facing. It's a wild, wild situation. I can't answer the questions as of now. Uh, we're going to have to figure out what's going on in the morning at this point. But to quickly sum this up, we've had an M9.44 flare out of AR3872, followed by a larger spike up to an X1.86, 1.87. Again, the explosion looks like it should have been a much larger explosion than that to me. And what's even more astounding is that the X-ray flux looks like an M1 hit it, and this was much more Earth-facing, although we do see the protons ticking up into a proton storm, and I'm guessing we'll see a polar cap absorption event by morning. With that said, God bless. Please share, please subscribe. Always remember, anything's possible in Bizarro World.